Friday, December 2nd, 2005. Assalamu alaikum everybody, peace be upon you. My name is Osama Abdallah and I am the owner of www.answering-christianity.com. Tonight I'd like to respond to Christian Prince's false points regarding Islam allowing sex with animals. Uh, Christian Prince had an audio debate with a Muslim named Nader Ahmed who nicknamed himself as Monkey Pox. I would like to first post Christian Prince's audio points and then respond to them after that. Here is Christian Prince's speech. Uh, monkey, Monkey, uh, you said uh, you're a friend who was translated in a very accurate way. He said, and this is very, very funny, that Shi'abuha, the four Shi'abuha, it means four, two hands and two legs. You know, do your prophet, he have to say, when I put, uh, uh, when I do that for someone, he have four, he have four, what four? Do he have to say that the woman she have two legs and two to a shi'abuha in Arabic it means legs? Go to the dictionary. It means legs. So when you do that, he, when he used to do that for an animal have four legs, he do wash. And your friend, he is not an honest guy because he did not translate what is written there. He said if someone forced to have sex for with, with an animal, you know, for God's sake, how can someone? you know, uh, be forced to have sex with an animal. This cannot be true, right? Or accidentally, accidentally you will have sex with an animal? This is what he said. So, you see who is lying here? The Muslims, they cannot be honest. And I want you to give the mic back again to Arabian Muslim. I want him to swear in the name of God, Allah, and his prophet Muhammad, that the link, the page, the hadith, and the explanation, it says, someone he's been forced, and doesn't say, if you put a penis, inside an ass of a man or an ass of a boy or a girl a little girl a dead man or a live man a dead animal or a live animal if it's cut a penis for an animal or it's a penis attached to the animal I want you to say that this is not there absolutely no because he said not true the hadith if you go to the last line in the page you will see it says exactly and if a woman she enter a penis of an animal it's a must for her to wash it's a must for her to wash and if you go I did not speak three minutes uh, uh, yet uh, monkey box what are you talking about it's not even one moment I have more than two moments left don't tell me time okay don't cheat you said one moment okay now give the mic for Arabian Muslim let him read, because this is the proving that you are a prophet, he had sex with animal. This is my point. If you are a prophet, he is a one who had sex with animal, and it's allowed in Islam, as you said in the Quran, you can have sex with your women, and your right hand possess, and the animals are your right hand possess, because you own them. The Quran never say anything having sex with animals. And I do challenge you again to show me something in the Quran that says, you cannot have sex with animals. It's encouraged to do it, in case you don't have a woman to do it with it. Actually, you're a prophet, he used to do it when he was a kid, when he was a young man, and when he was an old man. And I can show you more than one hadith about this story, and let us go there. Let this guy translate, and uh, let him swear before he translates again. This is an audio edition that I added on Saturday, July 15, 2006, regarding this liar and his fabrication of quotes that he put on the mouth of the Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Christian Prince took advantage of the fact that the Muslim whom he was debating with did not speak any Arabic and he fabricated lies on, and quotes on the uh, mouth of the Prophet. I initially thought that this was a hadith from the Prophet and throughout this audio session I refuted it with this assumption and prove that it was a false hadith as there are many proven false hadiths out there and I have provided ample hadiths where the Prophet of Islam commanded the killing the killing of those whom are caught having sex with animals and I also provided ample noble verses from the noble Quran proving that sex with animals is wrong and is forbidden. 
But when I finally was able to locate Christian Prince's website and the references on his unscholarly website, which I have exposed him in great details in text on my website's rebuttal section at www.answering-christianity.com, the following was unveiled. First, the only thing the Prophet said was this. إذا جلس بين شعبها الأربع ثم جهدها فقد وجب عليه الغسل. That's it. That's the only thing that this hadith says on the mouth of the Prophet of Islam, which says in English, if he sits between her four straight ones, that and he ejaculates semen in her, then, uh then he must wash or washing becomes obligatory upon him that's it now the prophet in Shu'abu al-arba was referring to the woman's arms and legs because when her husband or master if she was a slave woman comes in unto her then his physical position would be between her arms and legs especially when she wraps them around him. That is why the Prophet said when he is between between her four shu'ab. This is not the case with animals and the way animals have sex because animals come in unto each other from the back. All four-legged animals consummate sex with the male standing on his two back legs and resting his chest and tummy on the female's back while he is in her and on top of her back. Never do animals' tummies and chest touch each other's while they're having sex. It is also virtually impossible for the man to have sex with an animal the way he has it with a human female because the cow or the sheep or what have you would not allow the human natural position that I just described and again the Prophet peace be upon him commanded the killing of those who are caught having sex with animals and I also provided ample noble verses from the noble Quran proving that sex with animals is wrong and is forbidden and again, I have provided those hadiths throughout this audio session, and I also provided a total of 28 hadiths of the Prophet commanding those who uh, c uh, commanding the killing of those who practice bestiality on my website. Second point is what Christian Prince quoted about a woman in uh, about a woman inserting her penis of an animal in her. Uh, and that then she must wash that was not Prophet Muhammad's saying but rather it was Imam al nawawis interpretation this weak scholar did not know anything about the Prophet's ample sayings which I have provided in this audio session that command the killing the killing of those who are caught having sex with animals so Christian Prince is a big liar for saying that this quote was a hadith from Prophet Muhammad because it is not a hadith. And third, in regards to the Prophet having sex with animals while he was young and he was a while and while he was a, an old man, Christian Prince provided absolutely no references on his website regarding this uh, claim. He again was lying because he knew that the non-Arabic speaking Muslim could not refute him or even verify his sources. Please do not believe a single word from what I'm saying. Visit my rebuttal section, click on Christian Prince's link and read his article and his website and also my rebuttal and you be the judge between us. You see the facts for yourselves and you be the judge. The website again is www.answering-christianity.com